Hi, my name is Fred Newman. I'm the owner of the View Camera Store and Fred Newman Photography, and I'd like to show you today about the new 8x10 film tubes. These tubes are used for processing one sheet of 8x10 each. Normally, you could do two tubes at a time. They're very lightweight. The cap here holds eight ounces of developer, and your film goes in here. And if you have a hard time with turning, you know, putting the cap back on, just go backwards and then do that. Okay. So let me show you how we do this. This step will be done in the dark. Usually I recommend for Beyond the Zone system uh, putting your developing time on a sheet of tape. So before we load the film, we're going to take the sheet of tape, put it on the tube, so we know that this tube is to be developed for eight, this sheet of film is to be developed for eight minutes and 15 seconds. And we'll take the sheet out. And again, this is done in the dark. And what you're going to do is curl the film in with the emulsion side in. Goes right in the tube. And it goes in like this, no problem. And then what you can do is cap it up. And then you'll do the same thing for the other side. So we know that this sheet of film is to be developed for this specific time. We have our film tubes loaded now, and we're ready to process the film. The first tray is a water bath to float the tubes in. The second tray is our stop bath. And the third tray is our fixer. Now we're going to put eight ounces of developer in each cap. And as you can see, it doesn't, goes down about here. And we'll load up the other tube, or the cap rather. Okay, now we're ready to turn out the lights because we're going to switch the caps on the tubes with the film to these caps right here. I've switched the caps on both of these tubes. These caps now have eight ounces of developer in them. There's film in each of the tubes. Now when you're loading the tube, sometimes it's a little tight. It's a little tricky to do. So what I tend to do is back, thread, and then thread. And make sure you give it an extra tighten. Don't tip the tubes because you don't want any chemistry going on the film. Okay, so I've got the two tubes loaded, ready to go. I'm going to start my timer. I'm going to grab the tubes. And you shake them up for about 10 seconds. And then you start spinning. Now these tubes are kind of big, so I tend to use two hands. And you'll see they'll spin, slow down, spin, slow down. And you do this for the time of developing. And they're fairly light, and they work in a two tray like about a 16 by 20 size tray would be perfect. And you will get splashed. So you might want to wear a dark room apron. So you let them spin. And you continue to do this for the entire time. So it's continuous agitation. My hands are not big enough to do it this way, so I tend to do two hands for the 8x10 tubes. Ready? OK. We're continuing to spin. The first sheet of film is coming out at four minutes, and we're almost there. And I'll get that in one second here. So you continue to spin until it's time. OK, it's now four minutes. What you do is right like this with the cap down, unscrew the tube, and then put it right in the stop bath. And now we use a tube that's a dummy. First, you want to spin this for about 10 seconds so that it's totally stopped. And now we'll continue this with the dummy. What we found is it's easiest to spin two tubes than it's easier to spin two tubes than one. So one tube I always have marked with a piece of tape for a dummy. This way everything is consistent. And we'll continue on until the next tube comes out. Now we have the last tube to come out. This was eight minutes developing time. Again, you have the cap in your left hand on the bottom. Put it over here, and then put this in the stop bath, and roll it around for about 10 seconds. Now let's take a look how the film looks. Now the film is not pretty because it's not fixed, so we're going to put it in the fixer. And I know it scares a lot of people putting it in the light. 
doing everything in the light, but that's what we're doing. And again, here's the second one. And since you're working in the light, you could be careful not to uh, scratch the film. This, these two are a, two sheets of a BTZS film test that I'm doing. So we're going to keep them in the fixer for about eight minutes or ten minutes until it clears, till the pink gets out. So as you see, we've spun the tubes, put them in the stop bath, and now we're in the fixer. Okay, the film is done fixing. Usually with T-Max films, we usually double the fixer time to about eight to ten minutes. And as you can see, all the pink is gone. We're working in brighter room light than normal. When you're working in the uh, processing the film, I would recommend a small incandescent bulb or a uh, working under safe light conditions. But considering we worked in pretty bright light, the negatives look fine. Now I know that scares a lot of people working in light when processing film, but when you put the film in the stop bath quickly, it doesn't really seem to affect it at all. And so what I'd recommend is just wash the film for about eight minutes or so, eight to ten minutes, put it in some photo flow or some LFN it, with distilled water and just hang the negatives up to dry. So I'm just going to let these wash and I hope this helped you. Thank you.